Hey guys, let's learn what is UiPath fuzzy selector. What is it and how to use it? So let me give you a small example, then you will understand better. Let's say this is a website where it has so many different reports. If you click on the reports, it downloads the report for you. Okay. So you are building a workflow or a bot which would ask customer which is the report you would like to download right and you do not expect the user to type the entire name perfectly okay there is a underscore there is appointment.xlx so you do not want the user to literally type the entire name perfectly he might just type 76938 with a space he will not put out so in such cases right this is a dynamic uh, way where whatever customer types it should be able to identify what it is right it's more of a bit of intelligence so it will exactly match you know how much it matches so it will identify what is that and it will click so in such cases how do you create a dynamic selector so that is done exactly using the fuzzy selector so fuzzy selector gives you that option if customers do not wish to type the entire name if you type 67938 it should be able to understand and should be able to click on it and download the report for you okay that is what we will be learning through fuzzy selector okay so you got a background what is a fuzzy selector now let's get into detail as to how do i use it okay i'm going to talk about the syntax before that let's start designing it okay so let me delete this and start designing it so the very first thing you will ask customer what is that report name so, so you are expecting customer to enter the detail of the report name what is the report name simple and here you will be simply using a variable you can create a variable control plus k report name done so this variable is going to contain whatever user is entering okay one more interesting thing let me tell you yesterday i have shown you how to design a uh, ui path form instead of input dialog in case you would like to experiment with ui path form please watch my previous video and the same thing you can design with the ui path form okay that is more more uh, interesting to look at okay anyways so here i have downloaded the data from the user into a variable called report name. after that what i want i would like to open that browser right open browser so you guys must be interested to know which is this browser so let me tell you uh, this browser is coming from acme system okay so i'll give you the link of this browser otherwise i'll also let you know how to navigate to this okay so that way you know how to use it so you go to acme homepage, and here in the acme homepage, you have something called healthcare okay and here you select download daily appointment and this page will appear okay so anyways I'll, i'm going to provide the link but that is the way to get into this so you copy this specific link and in the open browser you are going to mention that okay and do not forget to select what browser would you like to open it i want to open it chrome let's say all right so once i do this next thing what i want i want to click whatever customer has entered using the fuzzy selector right using the fuzzy selector how do i do it that is the trick so here what i'm going to do click on indicate element inside a browser all right so i'll hit on this and i'm going to select any one of it okay doesn't matter i'm going to select any one of them okay so here is the great trick anytime you are using a selector always understand your environment where you are selecting things so if you see in this environment looks like this is a table and this has rows and this has two columns and number of rows okay so this you should at least should be able to know about the environment from where you are trying to work okay so i got these details now let me go back to the studio and here i have selected it let me open the selector so this is where is your engineering knowledge would appear right uh, where you will be utilizing it so there are two things okay so do not utilize uh, do not try to change it over here always open ui explorer I will tell you the reason why you should always open UI Explorer which gives you more number of attributes to look at. So I told you in this demo there are two things rows and columns right. So what is happening the and your entire report is structured in the column number two right if this is column number one column number two is structured. 
right so column number 2 is constant but your rows are changing so the report could be here in the first row could be in the last row could be anywhere right so you have to ensure you have to select this attribute called table row okay if it is a tabular data so i am selecting table row so what i am going to do because the data could be anywhere i am going to make instead of this static value 2 i am going to put a star okay so that way it could be in any row fine okay you are done that after you do this the next thing is you have to change this entire thing into because i want to make it dynamic right the customer can enter any name so this a name active accessibility name just right click on it and choose that variable report name where customer is entering the report name okay from the input dialog all right so this is done now this is the time where we have to see how to use the fuzzy selector okay so the fuzzy selector you have to first of all step number one is to know what is that syntax okay this is a normal selector normal dynamic selector you know about it now after this whatever the selector is before i mean before this um, uh, forward slash and all that so before this syntax you have to simply write matching okay underscore a a name okay so this remains common i have shown you in the previous video for the regex there is a video in the same format there you are writing regex here you will be writing in single code you will write f u z z y fuzzy done so that is the syntax after that this is slightly extended you have to provide the fuzzy level i mean how much accuracy you want 50 percent accuracy 100 percent accuracy customers should type entire thing you want 10 percent accuracy still so depending on that you have to we will i will show you this example here so here you what you do you type fuzzy level and say a a name equals to and here this one starts from 0 0.1 so the fuzzy level you can mention from 0 0.1 to 1 so what is 0 0.1 0 0.1 means 10 percent accuracy if you're writing 1 means 100 percent accuracy so he should type the entire name if you are writing 0 0.5 means 50 percent accuracy you want 0 0.3 means 30 percent accuracy so that is what you will be defining so here to start with i am going to make 50 percent accuracy okay and i'm going to show you where it fails how should i adjust this level so here i'm saying 0, 0 0.5 so 50 percent accuracy i want okay so now if i click on save all right now let's go back so here hit on save in our activity now everything is done clear everything is done now let's go back to the browser and these are the titles so what i'm going to do let me copy couple of this so that i can randomly do some testing because i cannot remember that names right i am not into medical anyway so so these are the these are the file names right so let's see what are what are the different ways custom is going to uh, type so sometimes you might type 55154 without space 23553 so customer can type in any different way so we will try different ways and see how it works so let's get started and start running it before that let me close that so i don't want duplicate windows so let me run it okay so let's see this is the testing where we would see what should be my level right that fuzzy level what should i should i keep it at 50 percent should i keep it what so first of all let's uh, do a very normal testing where i am going to type everything okay i'm going to type everything then we will slowly reduce it so let's see if it is working or not first of all okay so here i have typed this this one this is the report name so it should open the browser and 057 right is this the same thing i have selected 057 yeah 057 so it has clicked it okay so this time what i'm going to do uh, i am going to only type until here okay i am not taking the entire name i'm going to type because i mentioned 50 percent let's see if it is working or not so again go back and start running it let me close this okay so it has prompted so let me enter so this time just remember i am i am not typing the entire one i'm just typing half of it okay so customer will choose to type only the numbers right so 008 is it correct zero zero huh? so now let me uh, click on okay so let's see what is happening if he is able to 
click on the 008 report see it clicked it got downloaded right so now what i'm going to do instead of writing in the same format i'm going to write it in a different format okay and see if the 50 percent is working or not so let me run it so here what i'm going to do instead of 008 i'm going to remove that hyphen okay i'm going to remove that hyphen i will write in my own way because customer will type in his own way right so 008 here i'm going to remove that hyphen he's simply typing all the numbers so click on okay let's see if it is able to do the job or not okay looks like it's not able to do the job you can see okay it's, it's got stuck now so in such cases the fuzzy is very very helpful so you can see it is not working okay and uh, within some time it is going to throw the error okay so in such cases while your bot is stuck now it is not able to identify which is 008 so in such cases what you do see thrown an error the ui element is no longer valid so if if it is not able to identify what i am going to do this time i am going to adjust the fuzzy level to little less so not 50 percent accuracy let it be even 30 percent accuracy it should work so i am going to say 0 0.3 okay so let's see with 0 0.3 if it is working or not so again save it run it so this is more of experiment depending on your user behavior okay let me close this browser okay i'm keeping it open okay now it is it has opened so here what i'm going to do i have made it to 0 0.3 30 percent accuracy so if i click on okay let's see if this time it's able to click on that particular report see immediately it clicked on it getting it so the fuzzy level is very very interesting and this is going to help you a lot help you a lot so ensure you learn and you have learned this what you do only thing you should do is ensure you took a note of this properly okay the format and the syntax should remain as it is for regex we are using matching underscore a name regex nothing else for fuzzy level uh, you'll be writing this syntax okay i hope you guys found it very very interesting and i'm going to come up with more interesting use cases on this one so that it will be you'll practice and you can use it Thank you so much guys. Please do subscribe to our channel. We upload videos daily. Please do subscribe. Please do like all the videos. Do not forget to like. Please for all our efforts. Please hit on one like button. Thank you so much. Have a great day.